big development in campaign 2018, a major Republican group is pulling advertising money it had earmarked for Congressman Mike Kaufman. The, the Congressional Leadership Fund had planned to spend about a million dollars. Kaufman's seat is one of those Democrats have targeted to take control of the House. They're spending more than eight million dollars on attack ads. Political specialist Sean Boyd gives the latest ad a reality check. It's war this year in Congressional District 6. Eight national super PACs have named Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman as one of their top targets for Democrats to take back the House. This ad by the Democratic Congressional Committee lays out their strategy. So if Donald Trump is the president, I'll stand up to him. Instead, Kaufman voted with Trump more than any Colorado member of Congress, 96%. This is misleading. It suggests Kaufman is a yes man for Trump. He's not. The 96% comes from a website that looks at bills the president or his administration has expressed support or opposition to. At this point, that's about 90 votes out of more than 1,000 this session. Many of the votes bipartisan, things like funding to prevent school violence. The votes the ad sites. Kaufman voted for Trump's plan to sabotage our health care. He voted for Trump's tax giveaway, threatening Social Security and Medicare. Are being twisted. On the tax bill, the Democratic group says it sabotaged health care by repealing the mandate that everyone has to buy insurance, pointing to a lawsuit that claims without the mandate, the Affordable Care Act is unconstitutional. But Kaufman has nothing to do with the lawsuit. He also hasn't taken any position on a proposed budget plan that makes changes to Social Security and Medicare. Finally, the group points to Kaufman's votes to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Threatening protections for pre-existing conditions. Not exactly, although this claim has some merit. The votes all happened when President Obama was in office, meaning the law and protections for pre-existing conditions weren't really at risk. Kaufman claims the votes were symbolic. He voted against the repeal under President Trump because of concerns about people with pre-existing conditions. Here's what you need to know. Kaufman has stood up to Trump again and again. He authored half a dozen bills to protect dreamers, co-sponsored a bill to ensure the independence of the Mueller investigation, called for the firing of Trump's VA secretary, NSA director, and White House immigration advisor, condemned the president's ban on Muslims and transgender troops, and opposed the separation of families at the border. Bottom line, Kaufman, a five-term congressman, is popular in his district, but Trump isn't, which is why Democrats are trying to convince you Kaufman and Trump are one and the same. They're not, plain and simple. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check. And be sure to join us on Sunday during CBS 4 News at 5. Sean reviews an ad attacking Kaufman's Democratic opponent, Jason Crow. It also has some misleading claims. And you can see all of Sean's reality checks and see how she came up with her conclusions on CBSDenver.com.